year ago, I had a dream. I literally sat in the Starbucks and dreamed this shit up. Like, it wasn't a thing. Um, and it was like nothing that had ever been done before. And I just knew in my heart that it would work. I left my corporate job four years, a little over four years ago. And I spent a couple of years just lost. It was last summer when this thing just hit me. I stood up in the Starbucks and I was like, that's it, that's it, that's it. And I wrote Rise and Thrive and that was last summer. Somebody said to me, I don't think you're gonna get women to trust each other as quickly as you think they can. And this was a seven month gig. And I'm like, I think you're wrong. Within a couple of hours of the first session, they were already gelling together. And I, I believe that's because they knew why they were there, they wanted to be there, and each of them came with open hearts. The courage and the authenticity and the vulnerability that they were able to share with each other just kind of freed them up. It's like they started to just kind of release this shell of expectations that have been put on them. They found joy again. I mean, one of them used to be, used to do ballroom dancing, and now she's a, you know, a chief growth officer, a big title, and she had lost track of some of the things that she loves, and she's dancing again. I, mean, I think it's the only time that you actually take the time to sit down and say, okay, what do I need to do to make myself the best, absolute best version that I can be? And just saying, okay, I want to do this because ultimately I know that I'll be better for it and the people that are around me will be better for it. My life's all about taking care of everybody and protecting everybody. And I learned I needed to protect myself. It's my turn. They don't have to live that life of just striving, always trying to get to the next thing. Like just share your stories. To be here and seeing the literal transformation of these women's lives. The messages that they leave me. I mean, they call me and say, before I met you, I didn't know who I was or what I was doing. And it's not about me. I have just provided this place for them to come and be together and to see each other. And I feel like for the first time in many of their lives, they see themselves for how great they really are. And it feels damn good.